Now let me read verse 5. For when we were in the flesh, the motions of sin, which were by the law, did work in our members to bring fruit unto death. After all, be very honest. Have you been able to keep the law? Have you been able in your own strength to do it? Why, the law was a straitjacket, put on the flesh to control it. And the flesh rebelled and chafed under the irksome restraint of the law. There was no joy. The flesh had no capacity or desire to follow the injunctions of the law. And the flesh broke out of the restraint and posed below and therefore brought down the irrevocable penalty for breaking the law, which was death. Now listen to Paul in verse 6. But now we are delivered from the law, that being dead wherein we were held, that we should serve in newness of spirit and not in the oldness of the letter. You see, here we are joined to the living Christ and we are to bring forth fruit. Though we are dead to the law, we are to bring forth fruit, and we are to serve him. And it's not on the basis or the motive, I ought to do this or I must do this, but now I delight to do it because I want to please Christ. I'm joined to him, and the believer is set free. But now in love he gives himself to the Savior as he never could under the law. This is a little verse I used to carry in my Bible when I was a student in college and seminary. Let me give it to you. I do not work my soul to save, that work my Lord hath done. But I will work like any slave for love of God's dear Son. Friends, we are to serve Christ because we love him. And that's what he meant when he talked to Simon Peter. He said to Simon Peter, Lovest thou me? And then Simon Peter could finally say, You know, Lord, I love you, but you know what a failure I am. But the Lord Jesus said, now you're going to bring forth fruit. Feed my sheep. And that's the man that stood up and preached the first sermon on the day of Pentecost. That's the man that opened the door to the Gentiles. That's the man that could say, you know, Lord, I love you. And my friend, that's the important question. God has a lost world today shut up to the cross. What will you do with my son that died for you? That's his question. 